Welcome to the Bushido Gang. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Attack on Samurott, bringing you all another Pokemon tournament, uh, another Pokemon Showdown tournament review. So, uh, this review is going to be something a little special. Um, this is for SBL. If you don't know what SBL is, uh, SBL is basically uh, one of the most competitive tournaments on Pokemon Showdown, where a lot of the top players. Um, are in this, like, kind of team tournament, um, kind of thing. Um, now, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't really kept up with too many of the games. Um, and when it comes to teams, I barely know that, too. <laughs> so, like, like when I watch these tournament games, I only go by the players, because I find the players more inter more interesting than the, than the teams. That's just how I see it, so you can disagree with me on that, but... This game right here, I felt like I had to record. I had to review it. I wanted to record it live, but I overslept, and uh, and yeah, I didn't get the chance to watch it live. But you know what? I might as well review this game because it's my boy Watermess versus Gilbert Arenas, not the actual player. I mean, the basketball player. You know what I'm talking about. But anyways, <laughs> but anyways, um, but yeah, uh, just some background history, I guess, for for Mess. Uh, Mess is a very competent, uh, ADV player. Um, again, he started his, uh, I mean, he started shining, you know, like about, I think about like a year or two ago. So, um, but still, he's been doing a lot. <laughs> he's been doing a lot. Um, been qualifying for pretty much like every ADV tournament out there. And, um, He's definitely one of the one of the best players right now. Um and also he's very creative with his builds too. I probably say he's like almost he's probably on par with Linear in terms of like building um like crazy stuff. <laughs> like this man can make a thousand teams, probably even more if he wanted to, if he had more time. Gilbert Arenas, uh I don't really know too much about his background. Um so, actually, I think this is supposed to be Markov or, or something. I don't, I'm not too sure. But, look, I want to review this game because it's my boy Watermess. And um, he is the guy that got me into ADV. So, I got to see how how this man played against Gilbert Arenas. So, before we get started with this review, uh, please make sure to leave a like and comment on the video. Letting me know, um, letting me know who you thought won this match. You know, give your thoughts about it, too. And, uh, yeah. Um, also, subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to reach my 400 subscriber goal. So, let's try and get on the way with that go, shall we? Anyways, let me put the music on because I didn't have it on. And here we go. So, you know, you gotta, you gotta have the signature signature tournament theme. <laughs> From Yu Yu Hakusho. Alright. Let's dive in and see what happens. So, turn one. We got Motrace versus Titar. Oh, boy. This is, a, this is an interesting lead. Um, This lead is probably not the best for mess but it's actually really cool to see a moultrie's lead i've personally never seen this lead before so i don't i'm not really too sure what mess could do here um i know for a fact that or i mean i know that the t-tar is just always going to be a threat no matter what so i don't think mess is going to stay in here and you know try and attack this thing so we'll probably just switch out and go into something else well um well the tar will probably go for like maybe crunch or or something like that um but again, can't make too many early predictions since, you know, it's turn one. So let's just see what happens. So we have the, we do have the switch on the meta. And the tar goes for, I'm, I, I assume that's like HP grass maybe. Probably predicting the probably predicting the, uh, the perk. So that was a pretty good play. Or that was a pretty uh, pretty nice prediction on uh, on Arenas' part. I do think this is Markov though. I'm pretty sure this is Markov. But <laughs> I don't know. You guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments because again I don't pay attention to the names that much but but yeah so uh Tars first switch I'm going to the Flurry as the meta goes for the mash so again getting the damage off early mash actually did pretty actually did a pretty good chunk right there um so mess is gonna trap the is gonna trap the Flurry, which is amazing right there so there goes the Flurry. I'm gonna die to that HP fire not yet though gonna live on just two percent but the next one will knock it out though um 
Got two layers up, but I'm pretty sure he can find a way to remove it. In comes Doug to trap it, so Doug's gonna trap that mag, and there goes Max. And now they're down 1-1. One, one. Here comes Pori to actually reverse to reverse the Doug, so that's gonna be nice. So Doug gets reverse trap, which means that this Doug is no more and Quake doing not that much damage. Um Mess can just recover stall this out a little bit just to make sure that um, he'll be running out of EQs, which is kinda like the strategy you want to do with Pori. Uh, to make sure that you know you keep your Pori as healthy as possible, so he'll probably do this for a couple more turns. Um, so let's see. I don't think he's gonna attack it yet. You know, wants to make sure he's out of he's out of range of like a crit or even like um, or even yeah, pretty much like out of out of range for crit. So he'll just keep recover stalling. Um, yep. He'll just keep doing it for a couple more turns, a couple more. So he'll just stall this out until all of the earthquakes are gone. Um, so yeah, four more turns or four more left. Three. Oh crap. Uh, three. Oh shoot! I didn't mean to. Ah oh, no! <laughs> Did I really just do that? <laughs> Wait a minute! <laughs> I am so sorry for that. Wow, that was embarrassing. That was embarrassing. I must have got too excited about this game. Let me go to turn 19. Um. Okay, actually turn 18. Let's see, turn 18. Um. So there's okay, three more left. So one more. And yeah, he'll just ice beam it down now. He has it. Struggles there, but yeah, Ice Beam will take this out now. Or, oh, okay, so. No, wait, no, he just. I guess, yeah, he just Ice Beam there. So you Ice Beam on turn 23. Okay. And now we see Celebi coming in. So, Mezzet's team. It's looking pretty crazy right now. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not really too sure what that last month could be now. And just going off of Arenas' team right now. Um. Again, I'm not really too sure what's happening here. <laughs> For one, I'm just waking up. And two, um, again, I'm not really too sure what's going to happen here. But we do see a Tonkin come out from the Steelix. So this is definitely going to be, like, again, his Zapdos check. So I guess maybe uh, Arenas was preparing for, like, a... Well, no, I'm not, I'm not going to say prepare for Zapdos. Zapdos is common on every game. Um, but, but, yeah, let's just see what happens, though. So Tonkin comes out. Um, on the cell would be. Uh, Mess doesn't have to really fear that since he's got natural fear, so he can just baton pass out if he wants to, or go for whatever he has. He goes for Leech Seed there, okay, so we see Leech Seed from the cell would be, so it could be a baton pass if you want to probably just like Leech Seed recover. Um, Tar comes in on the recover, and we, so just based off the fact that we saw HP Grass, most likely, I'm assuming that, yeah, it is for Tar, so it is Tar. Um, but Celebi gets to, gets to uh, get out there for free and comes for you to start to uh, recover on this thing. And since it's especially offensive, this could still do quite a bit of damage anyway. Especially with the with that as well. But Mess just goes for the HP fighting on the focus punch. Not bad. Not bad at all. I would have still recovered there. And <laughs> I would still recovered there, but that was still pretty good. Um, again, the HP fighting on the Steelix switch in. So not too bad there. He's forced to switch out here, or he can just Ice Beam. So he does choose to Ice Beam there on Toxic. Um, so this is interesting. So we see HP Fighting. I'm assuming this is HP Fighting Cory. So HP Fighting Cory um, to deal with the Tar, which is very cool. Very, very cool strat. Um, or very, very cool tech from Mess's part. Um, or on Mess's end. Um, Ice Beam doing 25 is definitely not that bad. So... We do see that coming out. Don't know how this Porygon's gonna come back. I'm pretty sure he'll probably sack this at some point later on in the game. Um, yeah, with this, with this being toxic, it doesn't really seem to be that great at this moment. But again, we're just have to wait and see. So, we're just gonna go for the Ice Beam and Sand. Just gonna keep weakening this thing as the Steelers goes for Earthquake, doing a good 22%. Um, so Mess could choose to recover here or just switch out. He does choose to, to switch out and go into the Moltres on the Earthquake Predict or on the Earthquake Switch. It's not too bad. And now that the Tar is actually weakened and we do see that this was Special Tar, Moltres is a lot more effective now as Moltres can kind of break down um, these variants of Tar pretty well. Crunch will do a pretty good chunk though. So Mess will have to play pretty well have to um, make sure... Um, he preserves the Moltres as best as possible because this mod can be very dangerous in the late game as we are getting closer and closer to the late game. So, Arenas is forced to switch out here. Let's see who he switches into. Or he just stays in on, on the uh, fire move. So, again, he wants to scout for whatever the fire move is, which makes sense. Um, most of the time, Moltres can opt to go, like, 
Well, I mean, Moltres can do a couple things, you know. Um, sometimes they do run like you know three like three fighting like three fire moves, fire like flamethrower, fire blast, will o wisp, or they can run overheat. Um, sometimes so it makes sense for him to scout for it, but at the same time, I think he just wanted to get some recovery. Um, so he does do that. He switches into the Gyarados, so Gyarados is nice. And Mess goes for the Will O Wisp on the switching. So I'm assuming he was trying to catch uh, to catch the Gasetter or probably catch Tar, um, which makes sense either way. Um, again, great plan is for catching the or getting the uh, the Gyarados burned. Now it kind of depends on what kind of Gyarados this is. If this is going to be like a Rest Gyra, then the burn doesn't really matter. If you see, the burn doesn't really matter if he's like a Rest Gyra. Um, and Mess will and Mess regardless still has a hard time against Gyarados anyway. Um, since this one is a very effective sweeper too. Um, so let's see what he'll, how he'll play around this. He goes meta here, so meta's gonna come in here. Goes for a rest, yeah, it is rest Gera. Um, like I said, with this being rest Gera, a rest Gera can definitely come back and set up a DD later. Um, and plus, I don't know what that last one is, but if that last one can't deal with Gera, then it's gonna be pretty tough for Mets to come back here. So, uh, meta's gonna come in here. I'm assuming this is going to be defensive meta as he did, you know, bring this mod in pretty safely. Rosslight comes down and does a really good chunk to it, so that's not that bad. Definitely some really good damage on that Gyarados right there. Um, that'll force him to switch out going to Steelix as Mess catches the Steelix on the switch and he goes for an Earthquake. So not bad on his part, making that prediction. Um, now what he can do is go for Earthquake again. Because, I mean, he doesn't really have to fear it. And also, Earthquake won't, won't really do that much. So Steelix doesn't really have a good attack set anyway. Um... Granted, I don't think Mess really wants to chip that much because I really wants to get chipped that much by by Steelix because he wants to keep it around for the uh, for the Gera and even potentially the Tar. Um, but let's see. So he does switch out and go on the Moltres there as Arena switches out and brings in the Gengar. So we see Gengar coming in here and Gengar um, Gengar definitely puts some pressure on Mess. Uh, again, Thunderbolt's not really too kind on is isn't really too kind for him. Um, so I have to go into whatever that last one is, which, you know what, the more I look at it, I feel like, I don't know, I don't know, I feel like Mess might have a water gear, either a water, or maybe a fighter, maybe a fighter, but, I don't know, I, I can't really see it that well, maybe, maybe it is a fighter, cause, again, he's got the, hmm, it's definitely some sweeper in the back, but I don't know what it could be. Maybe, maybe Arrow? Or maybe his own Gyarados. Hmm. I don't know if Gyarados really fit on a team like this. Not gonna lie. I don't know. But, again, we'll just have to keep, we'll just have to wait and see what he does. Um, so Thunderbolt does come down doing a lot, and Willow comes down instead. So I'm curious why he went for the Wisp there. Um, I thought maybe you go for the damage instead, because I think, you know, I think getting damage on Gengar regardless is great. But I guess maybe he thought that he would switch out and go on the tar, which makes some sense. Um, but, yeah, that burn, while it's great and all, um, it will keep the Gengar low, but it does, you know, mean the Moltres is going to be a lot weaker. So he's forced to act the Pori there, like I said. So he's acting Pori right there to the Thunderbolt, and now Mess gets a free switch in into the meta. Okay, so he's still not revealing what that last one is, and I'm very curious what it is. Um, so the Gengar could be, could still be dangerous. It could have Wisp. I don't know if Mess wants to really make, if Mess wants to really take that risk, but let's see if he goes for it. Um, Mess is going to take the risk and let the meta get burned. Um, goes for the mash there. Mash is gonna do a really good chunk to it, keeping it low. So, so here's the the thing about this mod getting burned, right? Earthquake's gonna do a lot less damage, um, and the Lex is gonna be a lot more effective. But Mess gets a plus one. So with the plus one being down, um, Earthquake would do a little bit more, but he could also switch out anyway, and you know preserve the Moltres or preserve the meta for the uh, for booming later, which makes sense. Um, so. Goes for Sunny. Yo! <laughs> I like that shit. Okay, so you went for the Sunny Day there. Um, with the Sunny Day coming down, uh, Moltres for one gets more recovery, and two, um, Flamethrower is a lot more, it's just gonna be a lot more effective. Um, granted, he's forced to bring in the Tar, but Tar just re doesn't really wanna take a Flamethrower from Moltres, because again, Moltres just does way too much damage. And in case you didn't know, in ADV, um, 
and even in, in Gen 2 with Sand, um, the rock types don't get ace but death boost, which means that flamethrower normally, like in current gens, would do a lot less damage under sand. But in ADV and below, um, yeah, in ADV and below, flamethrower does a lot. <laughs> it can do a lot to the tar, um, doing like up to 30%, I believe. Especially if his uh, if his Moltres is modded, which I'm assuming, I'm assuming it is, but I'm, I'm not too sure. It's probably gonna be timid anyway, but it's most likely it's most likely gonna be timid. I mean, he wants that speed, um, but maybe Mess is crazy and just wants power instead. So, uh, would you see the tar coming in on the flamethrower or potentially the burn? Goes for Morning Sun. Oh, okay, okay. This is, I see. So, huh? He's got the Morning Sun on the Moltres, so he's got the recovery there. You know, I kind of forgot Moltres did get Morning Sun. I think I got it from uh, from XD. Um, if I remember correctly, I think, I'm pretty sure I got it from XD, but, uh, but yeah, that's a very, that's very cool. So, the Moltres is going to be able to come back here, so, now we really see Moltres as a dominant mod right now. Um, while the, while the Tara can, you know, like, crunch this down, um, still, it's not going to appreciate the Flamethrower that much, but also, I don't think Mess really wants to, you know, get, da get more damage on the Moltres. He wants to keep this around as the late game mod, so... He'll probably stack Celebi here and then bring in, and then probably bring in Meta, or he'll bring in that last one. He goes for Sunny Day again. Okay, so, okay, so, he went for Pursuit instead, so I guess that means that the Tar doesn't have Crunch. Okay, so that means that Mess is free to just attack whatever he wants. Flamethrower's gonna do way too much to the Tar, like way too much. Um, so he is gonna sack the Guard there, so good play there. He actually goes for the Wisp there, uh, just to, I guess, to, again, to, to catch the Tar in case he wants to stay in. Brings in the Gyarados there, um, so now in comes Meta there, so Meta comes in on the Gyarados switch, and what Mess can do now is go for Punch again, or he could just go for Boom, um, but he goes for Rock Slide instead, so it can make some sense. I guess, I guess Boom wouldn't really make too much sense here since the Gar's still healthy, so, makes sense, or I mean it's still like around. Those Moltres there on the Toxic switch, so wow, okay, so, you see... You see Arena's being, aggr being aggressive here with the with the Steel. He's getting the Toxic off and catching it now on the Moltres. So now with that Toxic on Moltres, Moltres is a, is a little bit less effective, but when when the sun is up, uh, that Mon goes crazy. So it's going to be a little bit tough now for Mess to try to come to try to uh, get damage going with this uh, with this Moltres getting Toxic. Um, but again, we still don't know what that last Mon is. So we gotta figure that out soon. Or I mean, we're probably gonna find that out soon. Um, now Gyarados comes in on the Morning Sun, so again, he wants this thing healthy. And yeah, Morning Sun actually helps him a lot. Um, keeping the Moltres healthy and also getting the recovery off too. Or I mean, getting the recovery with it. Um, you know, makes this Mon have a little bit more longevity. So while he is toxic, the recovery is just great. Celebi comes in here on the Gyarados. It's still slept. Um, this thing is going to be dangerous soon. It's going to be very dangerous once it starts setting up. And here comes the DD. So DD comes down. And now we're going to see Gyarados do what Gyarados does in ADV. Start sweeping. So the Celebi is... Oh, he actually switches. Okay. So he switches there on the Leech Seed. Um, so maybe... I guess the Gyarados doesn't have HP flying or HP flying doesn't kill Celebi from the ring he's at. I don't think it does. Which means that the Celebi might be more defensively oriented. Might, might be defensively oriented. Um, yeah, the fact he switched out there, maybe he doesn't have HP flying. So maybe it's like, I don't know, maybe it's HP rock? Maybe HP, maybe HP rock? I could kind of see HP rock here for this team. Um, but again, we'll have to wait and see what else comes down. But again, the lead seat comes down. And now we see the double into the Steelix on the Calm Mind. Okay, so, um, okay, so now we figured out what kind of Celebi this is. It's, it's not Baton Pass. It's definitely going to be, like, probably Psychic or maybe Giga Drain. Actually, I doubt Giga Drain. Probably going to be HP Grass, which is still effective here anyway. Um, and also, the guard can't really kill Celebi either unless it booms it. Um, and then, you know, Tar finishes it off or Gyarados finishes it off. Um, I think the Gyarados was faster, wasn't it? No, it wasn't faster. So, so this Celebi's still effective. Um, 
Celebi can HP Grass here if he wants to. Um, or he can just switch out. But he goes for Leech Seed again. So again, he wants to make sure he gets that Leech Seed off. Toxic can come down again. So Arenas is really putting the pressure on with that Toxic. So half of um, so half the message team is, you know, like status. In comes Moltres again on the double into the tar so tar is in and tar is now but but mess can just set up the sun if he wants to um as he goes for wisp instead and go and eventually i mean and unfortunately misses there so with that mess coming down um from mess uh that that is uh that is pretty tough um not getting that not getting that burn off so um, this is going to be pretty unfortunate for him, but he actually lands it this time, so now he lands the burn there. Pursuit comes down again, but with that Toxic plus the Sand, it's going to be cutting it very close with the Moltres. It's going to be cutting it very close. Um, he, can still he can still go for the Sunny Day here, but he's going to have to let the Moltres go, which is unfortunate. That's very, very bad um, with the Moltres going down there. So, unless Mess has another Mon that can take advantage of the Sun, which I doubt he does, um... I don't know how he's gonna come back from this. I mean, I think he still can with Celebi. Like Celebi is definitely possible. Um, but he has to play around Toxic still. And that's the thing I don't think he wants to mess around with. Um, it comes Speaking. So there it is. So I knew it. Okay, so Speaking was the last mod. So with Speaking being the last, uh, this. Yep, it's looking like <laughs> it's looking like Speaking's about to finish this game. Um, Speaking can easily just set up right now. And not to fear anything, especially with the targeting burn. Focus Punch will do a lot less damage. And, uh, and yeah. Unless the Tar is like Thunder, which is very weird. I don't think it would be Thunder. And HP Grass won't do that much anyway, especially after a Call Mind boost. So Speaker is just ready to sweep right now. So, we're gonna see this thing start setting up. The one thing that actually could be an issue though is the Gyarados. Gyarados, I mean, Speaker can beat Gyarados. Um, but it also depends on how much setup Gyarados get can get down before Speak can actually kill it. And especially with the sun being up too, Surf won't really do it. Ice Beam will probably do a really good chunk though. Um, but again, we'll have to wait and see. So Gengar comes in here on the Calm Mine. So Calm Mine's gonna come down. Gengar's gonna get his health back. But still, the burn is gonna take it out though, actually. So we get the so the burn does come down, knock it out. Um, and now Gyarados comes in here. So now we see the, the Speak can have plus two. Uh, Gyarados have plus one from DD. And now we're going to see what this Mon has. Is it going to be Double Edge? Okay, let's wait and see. So, uh, Suicune is going to go for a third one. So, we get a plus three Suicune right now. And Gyarados is going to go for an Earthquake, doing a really good chunk to it. And the Roar comes down from the Suicune. So, so Roar Suicune means it's going to be Calm Mind, Roar, Surf, and then, like, Rest or something. Um, most likely. So, regardless, the Suicune won. <laughs> It's looking like the Suicune's about to just win right now. Uh, Surf is going to come down and knock out the Felix. Um, as you can just go Tar, and Tar's going to drop there. So with the Sand being up now, um, that means, you know, Suicune get, can't get his, like, uh, passive recovery like it used to. And that also means the Gyarados is, is still going to be a little bit more dangerous, especially because it still has the rest there, too, with the recovery. So Gyarados is back. Uh, let's see who's faster. It is still the Suicune. Surf will come down. Let's see how much this does. Just 29%, so this is a very bulky Gyarados to be able to just take the Surf that well. So yeah, uh, this last move has to be Rest. It has to be. Um, now, Mess can go for another Calm Mind, but even if he does, it won't kill the Gyarados. So, and also the Gyarados is still faster anyway. So we're going to see this Gyarados go to plus 2 right now, most likely, or just click again. And yeah, doing 32%. Goes for the Roar again, so he's still being effective with the Roar. So he still has his way around to this. Like, he still has his way around. Surf comes down, there goes Sweet, or there goes the Celix. My, my bad, sorry. Um, and now Gyarados is back. So, um, what Mess can do is that he can force the rest, and then he can boom with Gyarados, and then he can boom, boom with the meta. Um, and I think he'll still have a way out of this, honestly. I think he's still fine to, uh, to be able to clean this game up. But again, we'll have to wait and see. Surf doing 31%. DD comes down again. And, um, well, actually, with the spikes down, Hmm. Yeah, with the spike down, it's definitely double edge. It's definitely double edge. Um. Yeah, I think it's double edge. Cause again, you have the suit tar there to stop Gengar. Um. Yeah, it's definitely double edge. It's definitely double edge. Um. I don't know. Plus one. 
how much did Earthquake do before? Earthquake did 32%, and Mess will be at 35, I think. Yeah, he can just rest there, so there's the rest. Um, Surf doing 32%. It's still not going to be enough. I don't think Mess can do it. I don't, but again, we'll have to wait and see. Um, we go for it again, doing 31%. Uh, the yeah, speak, or not to speak, and the Gyarados is still getting weakened. Um, gonna be at another turn, and yeah, that'll be that. Um, yep, that'll be that. <laughs> oh man, I forgot about the sand turns. <laughs> How could I forget about the sand turns, man? How could I forget about the sand turns? Um, but yeah, that is gonna be that. I know. This video felt very unprofessional, the way how I, I kind of like commented at this match, but so this was a, a very good game from uh, from Mess's end, and Arena's played well too. Um, again, I like the way, again, I think this is Markov. <laughs> I think it is. Again, I'm sorry if I'm not hip about, you know, who's who, but, um, but yeah, I think he played really well though, especially with the Gera. Um, I think Gera could have been a lot more dangerous here, um, actually. Um, I mean, it, it was dangerous. It was dangerous. It, it did force Mess to, uh, you know, have to play a little bit more, um, a little bit more defensive, I'd say. Um, but, so I like the way how he kind of, how he kind of maneuvered around Moltres, though. Um, and the way how he was able to do it with the, uh, well, I mean, the burn did suck. I mean, the miss, the miss earlier did suck though. Um, if if that miss didn't come down, or I mean, if that miss didn't come down, then I think the Moltres still would have been pretty effective here, um, in being the uh, in being the sweeper. But in the end, Speaking just does it again. <laughs> That's just what that Mon does, you know. Um, but uh, but yeah, it was a pretty good game. It was a pretty good game. I liked how how each match or how um, how each turn went down. Um, not much to really say. Uh, <laughs> again, not much to really say. I do believe that this is actually Mess's first, like, SBO game. Um, but, yeah, I just couldn't, I just couldn't miss reviewing this match. Um, but yeah, it wasn't really, like, too, I'm not gonna say it was too impressive. I'll say that, I'm not gonna say it was too impressive, but it was a good game. It was a very good game on both, on both ends of the field. Um, but yeah, so that's gonna be that, guys. Um, if you guys did enjoy this review, I probably will re-record this because this did not. <laughs> I, I felt like I, I wasn't really like too attentive to this match. Um, but but still, if you guys did enjoy this, uh, please make sure to leave a like and a comment on the video, letting me know who you thought played well in this match. And, uh, yeah, also, again, subscribe, trying to reach my 400 subscriber goals. But, again, I would appreciate you all helping me reach that goal. And, uh, yeah, so be safe, wash your hands, and I'll see you in the next Pokemon Showdown Tournament Review. Peace out.